Hi, welcome to Gray Horse Yoga. So I'm going to continue our theme of um, using a short amount of time to get the most benefit we can from our yoga practice. So I wanted to give you a quick warm up that you can do first thing in the morning when you get out of bed, um, before you leave to go ride your horse, or anytime you just need um, a good stretch for your body. So we are going to start in child pose today. If you have yoga blocks, great. If you don't, no worries. You can use a stack of books. You can even stack up your hands, I'll show you. And then if you're seated, have something to sit on, cushion or blanket, you can use that in our first pose for a little bit more comfort if you want. So coming to all fours first, have your blanket or cushion available. And again, you don't have to use it unless you want to. But I'm going to take my blanket and I'm going to place it right on top of my calves. And then I'm going to bring my um, hands a little to the, towards the edges of the mat and my knees a little towards the edges of my mat. I'm going to have a block handy and you don't have to use a block if you don't want to. But I'm going to shift my hips back towards my heels, letting my forehead rest on the mat. If your forehead doesn't come all the way down comfortably, this is where you can use your block or even a stack of books or... Just make fists with your hands, stack your hands on top of each other and let the head be supported here. So just starting in this nice forward bend. Forward bends are very calming for the nervous system. So just bring your awareness to your breath and breathing. Sled, steady, slow inhales and exhales through the nose. This gives us a nice stretch in the lower back. A little stretch in the inner thighs and the outer hips. Nice length in the spine. Take another breath here. And as you take your next inhale, press into the hands and come up back to back up to table pose. So bring your wrists under your shoulders and your knees under your hips. So what if you were using your blanket or cushion, just place that off to the side out of the way. So coming to a neutral table pose here, and for those equestrians, a square halt. Take a nice deep exhale, round the spine, draw the belly in, take the gaze towards the belly button, coming into a cat pose. Nice flexion again for the spine. And then inhale, send the sit bones back, lengthen the front of the body, take the gaze gently up, a nice extension for the spine into cow pose. So keep that going again, moving with the breath. Exhale, rounding the spine, and inhale, lengthening the spine. So again, great stretch here up and down the length of the spine, working the muscles, lubricating the discs between the vertebrae as we move. So one more exhale and inhale here. And then coming back to your neutral position on your exhale. And then we're going to move again, a little deeper flexion. We're going to exhale round the spine fold all the way back to child pose, but we're going to keep moving this time. And we're going to inhale, press into the hands and the feet and come back up to table pose. So again, do that a couple times with the breath. Exhale, rounding back. And inhale coming back up because let's do that two more times exhale again nice flexion take that all the way back to your traditional child pose now inhale again back up to table pose one more time exhale and inhale and as we come into table pose this time we're going to take the right leg step the right leg forward up beside the right hand so check your alignment make sure your heel is underneath the knee press into the top of your back foot for stability and then just come up to halfway let your hands rest right on the thigh 
Again, nice opener for this right hip. Let the hands come down by your side. Lift the heart and the sternum a little bit. Maybe draw the arms back a little bit. Nice stretch. Maybe even float the arms all the way overhead. Nice length and stretch through the front of the body. And then exhale, bring everything back down, hands on either side of the front foot. Step the right leg back. Exhale, round back to your child pose. Inhale, come back up to table pose. Step the left leg forward. So again, check alignment, left heel under the knee, press into both feet. Coming up halfway, find that stability, that nice flexion in this left hip. Then bring the arms down by your side. Find neutral here first, think of mountain pose. And then lift the heart and the sternum, draw the shoulders back a little bit, feel that nice opening front of the body, and then float the arms again up and overhead. You can look up if that feels okay for your neck. If it doesn't, then just keep your gaze forward, chin towards the collarbones. Inhale and exhale. And then release everything again back down, both hands to the mat, step that left leg back. Exhale, round back to your child pose. Inhale, come back up to table pose. This time, bring one hand, the hands one hand print in front of where they are in your table pose. So now the shoulders, wrists are a little in front of the shoulders. Curl the toes under, lift the knees a couple inches off the mat, really draw that lower belly in and up, and then keeping the knees bent, stay on your toes, send your sit bones up and back, coming to a bent knee downward facing dog. So think of the crown of the head lengthening towards the hands. Sit bones reaching up and back. Think of drawing that lower belly in to support the lower back. Breathing. And as you take your next inhale, again, lengthen the spine. Release the knees back down to the mat. Uncurl the toes. Exhale, fold back to your child pose. Inhale, come back up to that table pose. Again, make sure the hands are still in front of the shoulders. Curl your toes under. Again, send those sit bones up and back. Find that bent knee downward facing dog. So we'll keep this moving here. We're gonna inhale, bring the knees back down. Uncurl the toes and exhale, fold back. Inhale again, come back up to table pose. Curl your toes under, send the sit bones up and back. So this time in our bent knee downward facing dog, we're gonna pedal through the feet. So press down through the right heel. Nice straightness in the back of the right leg. Feel that nice stretch, keep the left knee bent. And then bend the left knee, straighten the right leg, press down through the, or excuse me, left heel. Press down through that left heel. It does not need to touch the mat, no reason for that, but just feel that nice stretch. And then bend the left knee once again, straighten the right leg. And then bend the right knee, straighten the left leg. And then come way up onto the toes, straighten both legs and the sit bones up as high as you can. And then release the knees to the mat. Uncurl the toes, come back to child pose. Take a breath here. And then pressing into the hands, let's come back up to our table pose. We're gonna transition this time to standing. So hands in front, curl toes under, send sit bones up and back. Bent knee, downward facing dog, and then pedal the feet. As you pedal the feet this time, walk the feet towards the hands and the hands back towards the feet, coming to standing forward bend. So let the knees bend. You can let the crown of the head dangle down. You can take hold of opposite elbows if you like. Think of a little rag doll here. You can let the upper body swing a little side to side. And then bringing the hands to the hinge of the hip, press into the feet, lengthen through the crown of the head, draw the shoulder blades together. Inhale, coming up with a nice straight spine, nice flat back, coming all the way up to standing. Once you come up to standing, in mountain pose, feet hip distance apart. Think of the sternum lifting, think of energy through the crown of the head, let the hands come down by your side. And then inhale, float the arms up. Bring the palms together, interlace the fingers, index fingers pointing up, reach up and over to your right. Nice stretch on the left side of the body. Inhale, come back up to center. Exhale, reach up and over to the left and back to center. And then bring both hands down to the heart and then gently release the hands down by your side. So that's a short sequence that you can do. Any pieces of that, you don't have to do the whole thing but great for a warm up first out of bed in the morning. Great for a warm up if you're getting ready to go ride. 
um, simple poses that you can do anytime that help warm up the body, get that spine nice and lengthened and prepare you for the rest of your day. So I hope you enjoyed that and I look forward to seeing you again soon in the saddle or on the mat. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye-bye.